Now you do it again. It's the fifth star rundown, bringing International Friendship Day to a close in the best way, by celebrating friends on a budget. We end as we began, bringing this entire circle of friends experience full circle with a DVD review. We began with the first season on DVD, and we're about to take on the second in a series of fan-favorite compilation DVD box sets entitled The Best of Friends, featuring 10 fan-favorite episodes, also favorites of the cast and crew, with footage never before seen. And again, as with the first season on DVD and all the seasons afterward, they are mainly end tag scenes that NBC took away in original airings to make room for split-screen credits with promos for upcoming episodes of other musty TV shows, including Friends. This particular box set, which is a two-disc set with five episodes of pop, was purchased for $2.69. And we have here Volumes 3 and 4. Let's start with Volume 3. The episodes included here... The one with the blackout, Candy Hearts, the one with Ross and Rachel, you know, the one with the football, and the two-part run that could have been. Which totals 150 minutes, including a special Discovery Channel behind-the-scenes documentary, the one that goes behind the scenes. The other volume here also totals 150 minutes, including the one with Chandler and the Fox, the 100th, that's the Milestone 100 episode, the one with all the resolutions, the one where Ross got high, and the two-part one with the proposal. That is where Mondla finally cemented their fears of commitment in order to commit to each other. See? Getting over your fear of commitment, Chandler, was as easy as turning around and looking at the person that was right in front of your nose, to help you conquer that fear. Everyone needs friends. Here's where to find them. From the number one comedy series, everyone's favorite friends. Great fun, great friends. Good things just go together. This compilation of more episodes chosen as the very best. All with never before seen added footage and digitally remastered image and sound. For a bonus, go backstage with the documentary, the one that goes behind the scenes. This is volume three. And this is Volume 4. More of the best episodes selected by the fans and shows creators from the number one comedy series come your way, now digitally remastered and augmented with never-before-seen added footage. And again, the one that goes behind the scenes. So we have here a list of episodes and the scene index, plus the one that goes behind the scenes on both discs. Both of them played smoothly. Now, a couple of things I forgot to point out from the onset of this series. The cast, to quote James Balls, pilot director, and one of the first season directors of Friends, a get from God. Sir, I'm with you there on that. Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Arquette, to be technical with you at the time, Lisa Kudrow, and the guys. Matthew Perry, David Swimmer, Matt LeBlanc. All but one of these guys are the Emmy nominations with these two taking home trophies for their indelible contributions to the series. I think it's criminal that Courtney never got nominated, although she did get an American Comedy Award nomination, and even then she was slighted. Unfair, but you know what? You learn to live with yourself. It also needs to be said, right off the bat, that sitcom studio audiences come and go, and some are more indelible than others, but friend studio audience, Definitely way to the top three, and quite possibly at number one. I mean, their reactions go far beyond the typical, quote, canned laughter that fills in the blanks. And it's definitely not canned. It's not piped in during post-production, even though it is trimmed some. And it's certainly not phoned in from the stock sound effects library. It is real. It is live. It has a lot of meaning, depth, and it's more diverse. One notable example would be the one with Chandler in a box. Yes, Monica's future husband, Chandler, in a box as punishment for kissing Joey's girlfriend. I wonder what the punishment would be if I ate Ross's sandwich, even though I'm not a turkey fella. The one where Monica, wearing an eye patch, summarizes each of her five friends' problems with the climax, live in a box! You might as well call her the one-eyed bandit, because she stole that scene 
and deserve that glorious studio audience response. I would also defer you to the one where Monica and Chandler sleep together during Ross's wedding in London. That episode is not featured here, and for you friends cynics out there, that would possibly be cool and unusual punishment because that London studio audience, the Fountain Studios in Webley, for nearly 30 seconds went absolutely beyond berserk. If I listened to that, I probably would get a headache that would last for two days straight. Oh well, I'll be ready for it. Someday. Now, we've only begun to scratch the surface of Friends-related content around here. In addition to the items you see on the table, we also have Season 5 on DVD. The one with another one of my crushes, Soleil Moon Fry, a.k.a. K.O. Kitty. One of Joey's many exes. The one with the girl who hits Joey. Look that up. We also have... The one with the ball, that's a party game based upon the episode of the same name. We also have two French books, the French Central Puck Cookbook, a People Magazine cover story about the Friends reunion for HBO Max, and an honorable mention, another People Magazine cover story, aka the one where Pete falls in love with Courtney Cox. For all of that, check out the Friends playlist in the description box below. But in the meantime, for the best of Friends, second, presumably, fan favorite compilation DVD set, it gets four and a half out of five claps. Say what you will, whether you're a Friends skeptic or a Friends fanatic, like I'm caught in the middle between that range. But I'll tell you one thing. We'll be adding to this playlist as time goes by, because, as you just saw today, the world will always welcome lovers. But they gotta be friends first. And for all intents and purposes, these friends have crafted a legacy that endures, and will never be on a break. Thank you for celebrating International Friendship Day with the fifth store one down, and as always, I'll be there for you. Like I've been there before, because you've been there for us throughout all these six years, on the flip side. I'm gonna be famous! <laughs> Tea. You are sweet honey iced tea. You are a flower. Yes. That's my story. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's really yeah. That's super. No! I don't know what. And also, <laughs> Nico. Nico! He's recording you. <laughs> I'm gonna argue again. It's alright. Peace. Is it too late to say? Okay, my vibe. My rhyme is on. You're not recording. Yes, I am. What do you think? My rhyme is on. My rhyme is on. Look, 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 show her. Stop! I'm going to do my rhyme song. Walk it off. But it's not 60 years. I don't want to waste my time. I'm walking down the stairs. Nobody cares. That is so rare. I'm eating pears. Nice. Oh! Don't knock people right there. I have to. Nico, 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 I can't, I need to sit somewhere. This is so... Let me hold it, I'm gonna show you in a moment. So, this is Johan, freaking hate faces in the He likes doing the whipping in it. Stop! It's Tom Ham, it's um... Johan Cena! It's um, let's say, David, AKA Baby. Oh! Sorry, I just need to say. So mostly, we're four years old. This kid over here, this teenager over here. Um, yes, I am a teenager, okay? Ah, when I was four years old, I used to call him baby. Johan Pico Street Street Goodbye, guys. Most of them will put this on my face. Yeah. That's all.